Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Finally, Shining Sarcophagus has been added to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This video is probably going up like a month after this gets released. I don't know when. I have a backlog of videos. We're getting through them. So far, it has been two weeks of consistent videos and we're going on to the third for me. So who knows? I have recorded three other Master Duel videos today. So clearly we're going somewhere. I'm having a good time with it. This deck is, um... Uh, this deck is, um, how do I, how, how do I get, how can I say this? How do I describe? Have you ever played Uno and your opponent made you plus four? Have you ever done that? And then you tried to stack a plus four. And then the next person stacked another plus four or a plus two, making it a plus 10 or a plus 12. And then your opponent or someone, it just comes back around to you. That's what it feels like playing this. This deck is complete fucking garbage and I would never recommend playing this deck. As awesome as the artwork is, this deck is so intricately designed to be as bad as possible and to have as little consistency or synergy with each other as possible that it's genuinely surprising. If it wasn't for ties that bind, you would not call this an archetype. And the only reason this card even makes it an archetype is because you can otherwise summon the other guys. Gandora is the only synergistic card in this entire deck aside from Shining Sarcophagus itself. This deck is complete fucking garbage and I genuinely think that people that made this intentionally made this as bad as possible so it could specifically be worth under dimension shifter that is the only reason this card can do is that can do absolutely i i had a lot of hopes for this deck i really did uh gandora g was like two dollars for a while and then one place listed it for 15 dollars on tcg player which the price shot up to and i think it's down to eight or something like almost a year later but uh yeah i never got to play it because shining sarcophagus which was like six dollars went up to 30 for several months until recently where it's like settled around 20. This deck is over $100 when I can play Earthbound for $12 and have a better chance of winning, which I can also just play Dimension Shifter in and have an actual end board. This deck does nothing. You know what it is? It's big beat sticks. It's a possible board wipe, and they're all individual cards that do this. There's no real synergy. Let's have some fun. And let me show you why I'm the angriest bitch in the West. I don't know. I'm upset. This deck needs an Imseti and a fucking Genroku, and maybe, just maybe, it can do something. And the Imseti has to search Shining Sarcophagus and draw a card. Ah, I fucking hate this deck, man. While we're loading in, I'm gonna remind you, if you wanna see more Master Duel, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. Let's me know I'm doing good things and gives me the encouragement that I need to continue playing. Stab by main phase. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck? Hey, look at this. We have... So this card requires Shining Sarcophagus. This card adds a monster that uh, 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 can do things with Shining Sarcophagus. This card is a negate if I control Shining Sarcophagus. You know what adds Shining Sarcophagus? Just this. That's it. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. Okay, Runic. I hate you on a personal level. I hope every, I, with every fiber of my being, I truly, sincerely, genuinely hope that you yourself find yourself in a horrible accident. They're going to target that special summon Hella from the deck and whatever the other one's name is from the deck. Oh uh, yeah, Hella and Vala. I was going to say Veneer, but that's not the right one. Then they can special summon out Mardell from their hand because they control generators. Uh, activate boss stage, overlay the two into Jormungandr, the world serpent, who is going to make us both draw a card and then attach a card. Thankfully, that gets the Eye of Tamayas out my fucking hand because I don't need it anymore. That effect is going to allow them to special summon a generator from the deck, special summoning out Har, which is a monster negate, unfortunately. Then they're going to overlay these two again into Phantom Fortress and... I do something. And they can banish a random card from my hand. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it have been? Why not any of the other cards in my hand? Which were all three of when I recorded this duel. Why could... Why did, why did it have to be this? This is also three of, but like... Why? Why this one? Then he's going to... The Utopic Future. For some reason, this doesn't gain the materials, which I didn't know. That's interesting. That's really stupid. And then you can overlay this into Utopic Draco Future, which I think is a monster negate take control of, which is fine. Turn change. Stand by me, draw phase. That's a fucking second gadget trio. Oh my fucking god, it's a second gadget trio. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why the hell wouldn't it be? And because I drew a card, boss stage is going to summon as many tokens as possible. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it have been gadget trio? Why couldn't it have been anything else in my deck? Could have been maxi pots, anything, man. Whoa, what the the fuck is I, I oh, 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 oh. anyways boss is just gonna summon tokens after summoning out needhog wait is it it's not need it's not needhog is it right it's like needhog or something 
I don't recall specific. I haven't played Ragnarok. <laughs> I haven't played God of War Ragnarok. Rose of Engadget Tree to clear effect. He didn't negate it. He didn't negate it. Oh, baby. You bitch. Why? I have to send a card from my hand to the graveyard. And I made the mistake of picking the incorrect card here. Uh, we sent away Gadget. Never mind. I thought it was a different duel. We're going to actually Gadget uh, Shining Sarcophagus. Effective Dark Magician of Black Chaos is summoned from my hand. Or Dark Magician. Sorry, what? Dark Magician, the Magician of Black Magic. What the fuck is this name? What? Yo, who who did... Konami, hey. You, uh... Konami, you listening? You listening to me? Fire this person. Fire whoever was in charge of this whole archetype, first of all. Because Gandora G, hello, that's garbage. Dark Magician, the Magician of Black Magic. Yeah. What the, what the, what, what is this? What, are, are we toddlers? I like Dark Magician. Why? He's a magician. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a black magic. Dark Magician, uh, black ma magician, black magic. That's what this seems like to me. What the, what is this? Anyways, continue. Horror effect to do something. Oh, and negates in his choice. Right, yeah, good try. <laughs> Fuck you, idiot. Effect to summon? Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye, Dark Magician. You're not an interesting card, and I wouldn't play you if it wasn't for the fact that you're a free special summon. Anyways, Gandora G. And he's gonna negate. But I can chain turn silence to negate your utopic Draco future and increase the level of my gadget trio. Bye bye to that. Now, if you don't know what Gandora G does, this is the main monster and the boss monster of this deck. This card gains 300 attack for every banished card. I don't know. This, this is an interaction we'll talk about later. But uh, if I control Shining Sarcophagus, I can special summon this card from my hand. I can normal summon it. You can buy half your life points, destroy as many other cards in the field as possible, and if you do, banish them. Then special summon one level 7 or lower monster from your deck that mentions Shining Sarcophagus, and increase its level by the number of cards destroyed by this effect. Why are we increasing its level? I'll show you. We will destroy every other card on the field, Utopic Draco Future cannot be destroyed by card effects, and Sterling Sarcophagus cannot be destroyed by monster effects. We will summon out Archfiend's Advent. Never mind. I thought I was going to show you. We're not going to show you. Silent Magician Zero and Silent Swordsman Zero gain 500 attack for each level higher than they are of their normal level. A Silent Magician Zero, anytime your opponent draws a card, it gains levels equal to the number of cards drawn, not at once per turn. And Silent Swordsman Zero increases its level by, the, during, by one during the standby phase. Archfiend's Advent on Summon is going to allow me to take control of one of monster my opponent controls. It's a change of heart. Also, beautiful card art. Golden Free, I guess it's Golden Cell. Golden Cell, real good. You did good. Real good art, man. Shit looks dope. No, it is Golden Free. I guess it is Golden Free, so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely such a cool card art. Other monsters I control gain 500 attack during my turn only. Now, I can attack for gain. But he surrendered. Ah. My opponent has selected going second, and I have an unplayable hand. At least I have two hand traps. Because they decided to go second, I'm assuming I know they're playing Tenpai, so the double artifact sanctum. Really good. Standby, main phase. I'm surprised there wasn't a maxi or a shifter, but okay. We'll set two and pass. Ties that bind does nothing, but I'd rather have this in my hand in case I get to that point. Standby main. Activates lightning storm. Fuck you. Chain two artifacts, sight to summon one from deck. Ash blossom, response, anything? Nope. Let's go. Scythe. 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 Scythe, 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 And they have to pass turn because they can't do anything because Scythe makes itself. When this card is special summon during your opponent's turn, you cannot special summon from the extract for the rest of the turn. Get shit on, idiot. Main phase. Pot of extravagance, banish six. Response? Of course. Of course it is. Normal summon Ash Blossom. Battle phase. Attack. Attack. Maybe it's two. SP pass. I've made an unfortunate realization with this deck, which is, um, sadly, genuinely and sincerely, the best variation of Shining Sarcophagus, which might turn it into a genuinely pretty good deck, is Runic. Because Gandora G becomes insanely strong, Fountain lets you recycle cards, meaning that you can then draw into Shining Sarcophagus even easier, which gets you a spell negate and a target negate, so... Yeah, runics are 
Runic's are cards, all right. Runic Fountain is, in fact, one of the best cards in the game. Dora Dora! Effect to add Genroku from deck to hand. Book. Effect of Genroku to summon itself. Short. Effect of Tundra to summon itself from hand. Short. Effect of Genroku tributing to summon. Okay. Effect of SP targeting itself and that, because fuck you. I'll just banish the tuner while you have it. I mean, like, just summon another one, but you know. Pyjor is going to activate its effect to add or to set from deck to hand. Second summoning. They're going to flip second summoning, discarding a card to activate its effect. They're going to add Tundra to hand. Oh boy, that's scary. Discarding the Genroku too. I'm going to go battle phase. Second coming to add one from deck to hand. We're going to Ash Blossom this because fuck you. You ten pie bastard, I hate you. No second coming for you. Attack. Wow. Wowie. And no Tundra because you're an idiot. That's what you are. You are an idiot. If you just did Genroku first, you would've been fine. Or if you had used Genroku and summoned Chandra, you would've been fine. But no, you're stupid and you should feel ashamed of yourself for playing brain dead deck and still fucking up. Dora Dora's in main phase two is gonna mill a card and gain a thousand because I guess he didn't want the Fodger one of that he's playing. Sure, I'll take the SP back. We got there. We got there, we got there, bro. We fucking made it. We fucking made it. Do you see this shit? This shit be something to be, man. This shit, this shit be something to be. Shining sarcophagus. Effect to add. Gandora G. Effect of Dark Magician to summon. Effect of Gandora G to summon. Effect of Gandora G. Valor. Thank you, I now get to keep my SP, Little Knight. Chain SP, targeting itself and Gandora G. Gandora will pay half my life points, banish all other cards on the field, will destroy them, then banish them, and then summon from the deck Silent Magician Zero, being a spell negate to turn off their future Sangin Kaiman should they not die this turn. Effective Dark Magician, the Magician of Black Magic, was special because it was destroyed. Then I could set a card that mentions Dragon Dark Magician, which I don't play in my deck. Uh, I have to mind it doesn't mention Dark Magician, it mentions a monster that mentions Dark Magician. I didn't know that. Is that a Machina card, Toxix? What the hell are you playing now? Yeah, I drew a Machina card every single game that I played. One of the monsters. There's three one of monsters in this deck. I drew one every single time that I played this deck after those first two duels. I'll explain it afterwards and I'll show you my current deck now but I just wanted to show you what the first two duels were first. Activate Pot of Extravagance to start of the main phase, banishing six for cost to add from deck to hand two cards. Of course, we get Machina Redeployment. Machina Redeployment is going to activate Discarding Silent Magician Zero to add from deck to hand, Machina Irradiator, and Machina Metal Cruncher. You've now seen all the Machina cards I'm playing. It's three Redeployment, one or Metal Cruncher, one Irradiator, one Mega Form. Okay, why are we doing this? Irradiator can discard a card, discarding Mega Form to summon itself. Then, I get Maxi for some reason. He didn't do it in response to the effect, but all right. Activate the effective Mega Form. Or sorry, of a radiator targeting itself. Specials a monster of equal or lower level, that's also an earth machine, from your graveyard, then destroys itself. Then we can use the effective Megaform, tributing itself to special summon a Machina from my hand or my deck. It was in my hand, because I added it from my hand. Because I've never once not had a Machina in my hand. So when I've had Machina redeployment, I've also also already had a Machina in my hand. Meaning that I've always had a special from my- I hate it. The pain. The pain doesn't stop. We'll use the effect on summon to reveal three Earth Machines, Gadget Trio, Gadget Trio, and Gadget Trio to special summon or add onto my hand, which I can then normal summon to add Shining Sarcophagus. That's, that, yeah. This is the normal summon combo. This is, an, this, is, this is a combo line you do because you can't search Shining Sarcophagus with anything other than Gadget Trio, so you need a way to get into Gadget Trio, which is Machina Metal Cruncher. And while you could definitely say you could just play Horus, I think every single Hort, I think Imseti should be banned. I, I, Imseti should just not be in the game. Why the fuck Imseti's in the game? It's also the dangerous, but why Imseti's in the game, I really don't understand at this point. Uh, Shining Sark to hand, we did it! Activate effect. Effect to add. Adding ties that bind from deck to hand. We're then gonna activate future silence, adding from deck to hand. Gandoraji, Dragon of Destruction. Link into IP, sorry, SP. We're going to special summon Gandoraji, giving them one extra draw. And then we will activate Ties That Bind, specialing two for my deck at the same time being Silent Magician Zero and Silent Swordsman Zero. Uh, activate Effect my opponent into a card to increase his level by one. Why didn't you activate Turn Silence here, Toxic? He had a response. I now know what the response was, but it could have been a Nibiru, and if I had set Turn Silence, I would have gotten Nibiru and lost. 
but because I didn't set turn silence, we're in an okay position. Well, I wouldn't even have lost because I still have to spell negate on the SP on field, and that's really not bad at all, actually. But Shining Sarcophagus also has a secondary effect that can stop, that can send a monster to the graveyard if they revive it with Fadra, like in the main phase or something, so it's not bad. Drop phase, effect of Silent Magician zero. Standby phase, effect of Silent Magician, uh, Silent Swordsman zero. Droplet, sending four away. But the, the, the card that they had was either Imperm or Deep Crow. But, uh... All right, not sure why they sent a second Kaiman. I guess every other card in hand must be completely used, completely necessary then, but sure. Uh, okay, Sangin Summoning. I'm in a bad position in my chair, so excuse me while I adjust myself. Add again Roku to hand, discarding Ragaki. I don't know why I didn't activate Ragaki, but all right. Pop off, I guess. You're fucking weird. Sure. I, I'm very confused. If you didn't read my card that is Forbidden Droplet, or if you didn't read these cards and how they gain attack, Forbidden Droplet shouldn't... They shouldn't have attack. I know it's half attack first and then effect negate. So him being at 750 makes sense. Why is Gandora G at this? Why is he at 900? I don't... I don't know. Genroku, quick effect tribute, summon Pydra, sure. Sangin summoning two because you didn't want to add Kaiman, so you must already have Kaiman. Fadra, battle phase, declare effect. On attack declaration, I tried to hit start step, but I didn't have the opportunity to. More Marshmallon! While you control Shining Sarcophagus during your opponent's turn, you can quick effect special summon this card from your hand. Look at this funny little guy. Look at him. He's got glasses. He's just a weird little, little fleshy guy. I hate it with the passion. I like the background though, but I hate him with the passion. Aside from his glasses, his glasses are great. Your opponent cannot target monsters for attack aside from this card. This card cannot be destroyed by battle while you control Shining Sarcophagus. If this card is destroyed by card effects, special summons a more marshmallow on from your hand deck, graveyard, or banishment. Accept this card, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage. It's an infinite loop, baby. Sangin Kaiman add Chandra, special Chandra. Spe uh, Chandra, start a damage tab, effect special from deck Fadra. Alright, sure, weird, but okay. Declare attack, synchro summons. They don't want to declare more attacks and just, you know, pop off, but alright. Bident! Bident can revive Fadra. Fadra effect to revive one. Target Chandra. Effect because a monster is special from the graveyard, Shining Sarcophagus. Discard a spell, target one of those monsters for cost, then send it to the graveyard if it resolves. So do that, sending turn signs to the grave, targeting sends to the grave. They will go Chandra effect to Synchro Summon. Works for me. And they will summon it to Budak Rose Moondurite Durago. Which on summon will return a special summon monster to the field. Goodbye, more marshmallow, welcome back to my hand. During the battle phase. During the damage depth. Sorry, during damage calculation. If an opponent's monster attacks while you control a monster that mentions Shining Sarcophagus, banish this card, end the battle phase. Get fucked up. You lost to Shining Sarcophagus. But that would be, well, blah, 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 blah. with that being said, this is the final product of the deck. It's not good. Don't play this. Don't. It looks interesting. It's not. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all had a wonderful day. And if you're a Konami employee and you had anything to do with the making of this deck, I will find you. You are not safe. You will never be safe again. For the rest of your days, live out in fear of the day that I find you. I will eviscerate you. Unless you print an Emseti and a, a Genroku, then it's fine. Then you're fine. Absolutely no problem. Also, I'm talking about in Minecraft specifically. So you're like, it's just joke. I'm specifically talking about in Minecraft. Like, if we're going to open a Minecraft world, we're going to play survival for a little bit. And then after I make my little snowy mountain cottage home, I'm going to find you. And I'm going to hit you a few times with the diamond sword. A few trillion times with the diamond sword until I'm finally free of this hatred in my heart. But yeah, just a diamond sword in Minecraft specifically. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.